Well, I'm going to try and keep this one short and sweet because let's face it, there's no glazing, no glossing, no sugar coating. Sunday's going to be a very emotional fixture for the Leeds fans. Uh, for me in particular, I've seen relegation before, especially from the Premier League, and uh, I'll tell you, it hurts. It's not a very pleasant thing to experience, not a pleasant thing to look forward to, knowing that you're going to be spending the next season down in a lower league with more games against more opponents and the challenges are a lot tougher I believe and uh, Leeds are going to have to be really focused on summer from this point forward and making sure that the club is restructured and making sure that we've got the assets needed to enable us to compete in the championship. That said, Tottenham, a very talented team. They are coming to Ellen Road and they are in a bit of a downward trend in terms of form. They lie eighth in the Premier League at the moment, but they are fighting for the European Conference spot. It's them and Aston Villa in it. Villa are in seventh place. Spurs need a win or to better Aston Villa's result on Sunday. So for them, it's still all to play for. Anybody who thinks that Tottenham are coming for... Uh, an easy day, an easy game, an easy day out. They're not bothered about trying to get the three points or anything else. I find that very difficult to believe. The European Conference is going to bring extra exposure to Tottenham Hotspurs, extra revenues. Of course, it does offer benefits should they win it in terms of qualification into the Europa League. So there's still a huge uh, prize at stake for Tottenham Hotspur uh, this Sunday. And I expect them to come all out to try and achieve their goal and get three points from Elland Road. What are Leeds going to do on Sunday? Well, news is from Sam Allardyce that Rodrigo has been training this week. Uh, Patrick Bamford is subject to a late fitness test. And uh, the squad have spent three days down at Elland Road training this week. And Gordon Strachan has been... Uh, helping, trying to motivate the players as well as Eddie Gray and Gary McAllister. You all already know about that, of course, because I posted it onto my community tab, uh, which I'm sure that some of you have been over there to have a little read. And if you haven't, you know, do that now and uh, have a little read. And uh, there's a couple of photographs and stuff like that there uh, of the day's session, taken courtesy, of course, from the Leeds United official Twitter account. Well, my starting 11 is probably going to be a little bit different from Big Sam's starting 11, but I would say that in this game we've got no option that we've just got to go all out and go attack and go for it and hope that the other results go our way. If we are to have any chance of surviving in the Premier League, uh, although it is a very, very slim chance, apparently 95% chance that we are going down on Sunday to the Championship next season. So I would start with Robles, then I'd have a back three, Christensen, Cock and Woba. Uh, I think he's going to drop Luke Ayling following his post-match comments after the uh, West Ham match, where he talked about physical and mental fatigue. Uh, it's clearly not going to be a game for him, isn't this one? Uh, Somerville on the right-hand side, Greenwood and Forshaw in the middle of the park. And then Harrison on the left of midfield. Up front, if he is available, Rodrigo. Aronson and Nonto. Of course, we have got a striker shortage. Uh, it's more pronounced of, with the fact that a couple of the development squad players are actually away on international duty at the moment with their respective teams. So we're a bit uh, stuck, really. We're very thin on the ground in the squad. A lot of injuries, as we all know. And uh, that's really what I could come up with for... Uh, Sunday's lineup. I don't think Big Sam's got much of a choice, to be honest with you. I think he's very limited. And, uh, you know, can we try and get three points out of this one? It's a very slim chance. Spurs are just going to do what every other team has done to us this season not do very much for the first half, just sit in deep, wait for us to tire ourselves out, and then wait, get in on the second half. After the 46th minute, they're going to come and have a go at us. He'll put Kane on and uh, that South Korean player and all the rest of them and uh, I think we're probably going to get pumped. My score prediction for this uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's Leeds United 1, Tottenham Hotspur 4 so there you go Tottenham Hotspur fans if any of you did care to watch this video you've got nothing to worry about. We're absolutely crap at the back 
and uh, we're crap in midfield, <clears throat> and we've been crap all season. So there you go. Anyway, Leeds United fans, of course, if it, if you did make it to this point of the video, thanks so much for watching. Maybe you want to consider subscribing, dropping a like on the video, and all the rest of it. And uh, you know, maybe you want to comment. <laughs> Perhaps you uh, feel different to me, and if so, I will reply to all your comments. Take care of yourselves, I'll see you all on Sunday.